Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the Influence to Perform podcast. This is episode four. Over the next couple of weeks, I'll be adding more episodes of previously recorded um, content, but adding a different dynamic, a more interactive, a more personal approach and touch to it. So in episode of four of this podcast, I just want to touch on some of the things that I do with my athletes that are in college, that are in season. For example, this young lady, she runs track at um, University of Maryland, uh, a Baltimore college. And when she has time, we train, but I do not take her training to high heights. I keep everything very low level, very technical, very form um, oriented. That way, as she's working on the technical aspect, when she gets back to college, let's say on a Monday or a Tuesday, her muscles are primed to go into what her strength coaches have her to do or whether she's going as a treatment or whatever. So in this um, session, we worked on um, 30 to 50% curve uh, sprints on a soccer field. That curve sprints allowed her to work a little bit harder and push harder for a longer distance around a curve because the curve on a track, depending on the track, is primarily short. It can be longer. But with this, I wanted to see her foot placement. I wanted her to open her hips a little bit more were running and the foot strike around the curve, which was also noticeable with efficient arm swinging mechanics. After that, we did some light wicked sprints and that I was able to tell whether her toes were going in or coming out and her knee lift, her hip drive, glute activation from that. And then we went into some light sled sprints for about 40 to 50 yards and then I loaded it up with I believe a 35 plate all this is done in moderation all the session was about 30 to 45 minutes including some dynamic mobility um, some conversations with the athlete you know just to talk just to build that relationship but you know anytime and I'm sure you know but if you don't just just some good information you have an athlete or if you're an athlete coming back from college or on break, don't go overboard. Stay with your program. But if you got a good strength coach, get in some work with them, some light work, some explosive work, some activation work, fine tune some things so you can be right on point when you go back to um, your strength coach at your school and always work in coordination with the strength coach. So again, thank you for listening to the Influence to perform podcasts and look out for some more content over the next couple of weeks. Get out of here.